Welcome to the second episode of Social Studies with Nancy and Marcus. Yeah. And Marcus. Nancy. Alright then. Just make sure you know everyone oh, like yeah, tend their fluid these days. So hopefully they've watched the first video where we discussed Puka. Yes. And we are smoking Puka again in this time we're not coming from Manhattan, but we are in Queens, New York. Yes, to celebrate the carnival that's coming up on Monday, you know? Caribbean carnival. So we're giving it the vibe, you know? The Caribbean vibe. Yes, we are in the spirit of Labor Day weekend in on us, which is the annual Caribbean Carnival. Eastern Parkway in Brooklyn. Yes. So yay Brooklyn. Shout out to Brooklyn. Maybe we'll do an episode of Brooklyn. That would be nice. That would be nice. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Yes. So what do you want to talk about today? Our topic is about threesomes. Okay. Is it good or bad for the relationship? That'll be the question. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all right now. Subscribe, like us, and let us know if you think three sounds are good or bad for a relationship that you're in, a relationship that you're thinking that you're going in, a relationship you think you might be in. Yes. Or if you never had a do or just want to know more about three sounds on the day and day. I feel like your physician comments or something like if you want to know more about it. Just Write me, you know, surprise me or something, you know. I'll get back to you on it. Exactly, we're here to help. Yeah. Um, you can write your prescription. Not yet. Not just yet. <laughs> so how do you feel about these things? Well, three sums for me are. Uh, it's a weird topic because if, if the communication is not great in the relationship already, you need rules and boundaries. And well, if you guys are not connected, there's no point in going through But if you guys understand each other, you're sexually fluid, then I feel like a threesome is for you. So it's a good and a bad thing. You know, I have. Did I speak about the bad points yet? No. Jealousy. Yeah. Maybe they want only threesomes now because you've been enhanced this relationship with just threesomes. They could want it next week again. And this two sex, like two people person sex is not working out. Just, you know, they want a third person, a third wheel. Yeah, I think threesomes are okay if they're, they're the foundation that's set. We, you and your partner, if you guys are together for some time and you know each other's body, you know what your turns on and your turns off are. And if you have that strong foundation, the communication that you said is already there and it's already established, then I think another level exploring yourself is adding someone to the relationship. But before you do that, I think we should have the conversation of what do I like, what do you like, what's okay to do with that person because even though you think you have a strong foundation, your partner may do something different with another partner that they may have never done with you. And that's where the jealousy may come in. And if your relationship is already fucked up and he's cheating on you, don't or she cheating on you, do not have a threesome. It's not gonna make you get closer. It's gonna separate you. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna cheat on you with that person. It's a little bit general, but it makes sense though. If your relationship is already like on the rocks or on the way out and it's not working, adding someone else isn't going to solve. Like I don't think adding someone else is going to solve the problem. It is a way to enhance and get to know someone and do things sexually. And I think in our society we become a little bit rigid when it comes when it comes to sex, right? And then having someone else in the relationship, it's like, are we doing this for us? Or are we doing it for them? A lot of people do it for the other person. You both have to. Yeah, it's like a submarine, right? Like if you're turning like a missile, both persons have to turn the key at the same time. You have to be on the same page. Yeah, and I feel like usually women are the ones giving up more. They don't want that shit. They just do it for the guy. It's the truth. I feel like it's the truth. You know? I know some girls that are a little that are sexually more active than guys. And some guys are more standoffish, but mm, I don't know. Guys, you date? Maybe more than three sons? Not. This is not about me. <laughs> <laughs> nice, it's nice not pivot. about me. Nice pivot. It's not about me. I'm, I'm not about to share my boo. You know? You, At the you, age you that I am, it? I don't think so. I don't think so. Like we would have to be far away somewhere. In uh, Af no, Africa is not a good place. <laughs> Somewhere far. Like, yeah, like that vacation. You ain't got a phone. You ain't got no Wi-Fi. Like you can't even call anyone. 
Yeah, because when you're on vacation, you do have like that heightened sense of excitement. You do things that you normally wouldn't, wouldn't do. do when you're like at your home base. Yeah. So they have things for that, like it stays in Vegas, whatever. What is it called? Uh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, except for herpes, because that shit will come back to you. It doesn't go away. Uh, so be careful. Yeah, and if you can do it, of course, and to talk about sexual health and wellness, don't be a fool to wrap your tool because I like that one. Wrap your tool. You heard that? But yeah, I are on the side of it is once foundation and conversation is established, you're more on the side of. Not for you, but more of a spontaneity kind of thing. Yeah, like far away in different travel, like traveling in different countries. Yes. But when if I live in Queens and you're in Brooklyn, even Harlem, even Jersey, that's too close. For me. I need you in Puerto Rico. So you're open to it if it's spont spontaneous. Yes, China. And it's not planned. Exactly. Brazil. You know. <laughs> if any Brazilians watching us, please subscribe and like. We love you. We do. We love all. We are a one love all, serve all kind of nation here. Yes. Yeah. So, no, so the question is, let's remind them. How do you feel about threesomes? Are you pro threesomes or are you against threesomes? Should there be rules? Should there be limitations? Pretty much it. Let us know. Like, yeah. subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. Please subscribe. We need to. We need, we need the subscribers. We need to live on. We don't do it for the gram, we do it for the subscribers. <laughs> Let's keep it real, you know? Yeah. Tell, tell us what you want to hear and tell us what you like, what you dislike. I will bring more of these videos to you every week or maybe a couple times a week. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah, oh, guys, yeah. subscribe to me and. If you want us to cry, I'll cry. Yeah, she'll cry on cue. She'll cry on camera. Wait. If you want to see us do stuff. Wait, I'm about to cry right now. Tears. Oh, uh, next, next. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep watching. Because I, oh, I need to cry when I see a lot of subscribers. Yeah, yeah. She'll cry. If you do that, then you cry. All right, guys. Hi, guys. Bye.